Hello, this is Austin with Dissit Studios, and today I will be showing you a new program I just got, Acid Express 7.0. Alright, I have Acid Express 7.0 open right here, and something I realized while I was trying to fix my cam, or the cam studio program I'm using, is that I can actually disable this from being on startup. So I just uncheck the little show at startup box in the bottom right, bottom left corner of this little window that pops up, then I'll just hit close, because I don't need to see that anymore. And as you can see, I've got a ton of WAV files. I think I've got some uh, OGGs and MP3s in here too. There's an OGG. There's an MP3. And all I did was put this in my documents, set up a folder for all these, and I now have a ton of little sound clips that I can make music with. What Acid Express 7.0, well, Acid Express, well, Acid, um, does is it lets you take a bunch of little sound files and put them all together into one little song and you can take like three second little clips and it's supposed to be loops so you can just loop stuff and just keep using it over and over and over again in the song put it all together in one and see what you can create. Now I've created a couple of songs which will be up in the next week or so because I'm getting a new laptop. So this is the last, well this is the first time you'll be seeing this little uh, taskbar here and it will also be your last. Now you'll see one similar to it but that's not gonna be this one. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to pick a first sound file. I'm actually going to go down to my older ones that I just got yesterday when I got the program. And I like this one. So I'm going to, well, yeah, I can click on it and then here, preview or, yeah. And then you can click on a different one. <clears throat> then just click off of it to get rid of that. You can have just single notes. That's a bit loud. And then master, I'll just turn that down a little. And you can click and drag up into the tracks. It'll open a new track. You can take that. I'll take that and put it there. This one. Right there. This one. Here. And I don't know what this is going to sound like, but we can play it back. Good so far. Okay, uh, that's what I came up with. Um, there is a website I had gotten all four of those tracks from, and if you give me one second, I will find it. Okay, I found the website, and this one's a, this one's still loading, but I got it from here. I think they've got a new one 
Yeah, a uh, new eight uh, pack of eight sounds, which I think that's more than eight that I got um, every week. And if this was January 16th, I don't know where um, last week's or this week's is. But, yeah, I got that from here. And this is acidplanet.com. I can put the link in the description on the video. And I also got several sounds this morning and last night from this website, which is freesound.org, if I can get to the home page. There you go. And then you can just play sounds and download them. Here's one. And then there's a little download button. You download it wherever you want. Close that. And close that. And this is where I downloaded it from. This is CNET.com. Um, most of you have probably heard about it. If not all of you. It's great. And all you need to do is download the CNET installer, um, then download X, uh, Sony Acid Express free. Uh, after that, it's not a very big file. It's only 44.04 megabytes. And it works on Windows 7 and 8. I did not even look at that before, but I'm glad it works on 8 because that's what my new computer is, I think. And then it's version 7, as you can see here. If I can highlight that. There you go. And it's a great program, and you can add with the free Acid Express program, you can add, I think, 10 tracks. Let's find out. I don't even know what this is going to sound like, but I'm curious. And, yep, 10 tracks. It's going to come up with an error message. If it ever loads. Here we go. Track limit Acid Express software is limited to 10 tracks. Upgrade to Acid Music Studio software and get unlimited tracks of audio for arranging music. No limits, no constraints. Use as many tracks as your computer can handle. But I think my new laptop comes with the program, so that's not going to be a problem. I'm, t I'm totally unsure right now. This is a, um, I'm new to this, and I won the computer. So let's play this back and see what I just created. Yeah, that didn't end very good. The middle wasn't, I didn't think that the middle was very good. And with number three on this, if you download this, number three, it, there's this little piece at the beginning. Um, here, I'm going to get a number three by itself. Right there that you'll need to split it and then um, copy that put it at the end so it sounds better like this and you can fade into it if I go really close
I know some of you probably will be able to figure this out faster than I apparently can. I got this at one point with one of my new songs. I don't know. Uh, go nuts, people. Uh, I don't know how long this video is. Um, I guess I'll figure it out. Thanks for watching my amazing video, and I will do a little outro now with my Dissit Studios background that I have featured on here. And I'll play one of the songs that I made, and it's not going to load, so bye.